Hello, Dan Harvey for Boris Effects here with an introduction to precision keying and composition in Primat Studio, part of the Continuum tool set for Vegas Pro. I have the background plate in the lower video track in the Vegas timeline. In the upper track I have the foreground green screen. I'll open the effect library and apply BCC Primat Studio to my effect chain. As with other Continuum tools, the top part of the effect menu is generic including the preset list where effect settings can be saved, recalled and reset to default. At the top of the effect specific controls are the view options. The default view shows the composite. I can select a range of alternate views, in this case the mat, which is currently fully transparent as I've yet to pull the key. Next we have the sampling controls for sample area and the selection of parameters to be applied within the sampled area. The default is manual sampling for the background to define the colour to be keyed out. The sample shape can be a single point, or a 5x5 five five or 50x50 50 50 pixel rectangle around a point. I'll select point and twirl open the sample point controls to reveal the navigator, where I can move the point around the frame. I can also move the point around by dragging in the preview window. I'll position the sample rectangle, take a sample and have similar colours are keyed out. When I switch to the final map view I can see the mat I've generated. Not bad, but in need of refinement in the semi-transparent areas. Now we've examined manual sampling, I'll reset Primat Studio and hit Auto Analyze, which automatically detects the chroma key colour. This is usually the most effective method for achieving a good starting point. When I switch to the matte status view, I see a high contrast visualisation of matte transparency, so I can see clearly where adjustment is required. Note how the sampling mode is automatically switched to clean background noise, which enables the semi-transparent background areas to be clipped to black. I'll position the sampler rectangle in a semi-transparent area, take a sample, and repeat until I achieve a solid black background. Now my final map looks pretty good. I could clip the white here by sampling the foreground noise, but I'll use another method in this case. I'll scroll down and enable map refinement. Twirl open its controls and clip the white with the threshold slider. Matte refinement includes a range of post processing tools, including blur and choke for the matte. Now I'll show the comp and deal with the green spill. I'll change sampling mode to spill sponge and select a rectangular area to sample. Spill sponge sets a general level of spill correction, in this case, a little bit too general, so I'll refine it with the spill plus sampling mode, which adds spill back into the comp effectively cancelling spill correction where it's not required. Now I'm ready to grade my foreground. I'll enable colour correction in the effect menu and push the contrast and gamma. I can also grade the edges of the comp. I'll enable edge colour correction and darken the edges. I can also define the width of the edge area as required. Finally, I'll toggle Pymat Studio off and on to preview the result. Primat Studio also includes integrated mocha masking for the inside or white and outside or black areas of the mat. In this example, I want to remove the rig from the composite, so I'll set the outside mask mode to mocha mask, twirl open its controls and launch mocha. The mocha UI is launched in a floating window. I'll hit the Create X-Spline button and left click to plot points on my shape. I'll right click to close the shape. I'll set a colour for my matte overlay and enable Show Matte. Now I'll invert the matte and set the edge softness as required. I'll hit the Save button to save the mask into the Vegas project, close Mocha and return to the Vegas timeline to preview the result. This concludes my brief overview. Primat Studio is packed with powerful tools for photorealistic keying, masking and composition in the Vegas timeline. To find out more about Primat Studio, Mocha and the Continuum product family, check out the related tutorials at borisfx.com.